Politics. A member of the National Media Commission, Professor Nana Esofi Kondria, has indicated the resumption of the TV license fee is one of the ways to help win Ghana Broadcasting Corporation of government subvention. This, he explained, will bring out the expected neutrality of the national broadcaster. Payment of TV license fees takes effect from the 21st of August this year. The resumption of the TV license fee has received varied reactions. A revenue sharing formula gives the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation 72%, Ghana Independent Broadcasters Association 15, National Media Commission 4, Media Development Fund 2, Media Development Fund 4, Film Fund 2 and Management of TV License Fees 3%. According to Professor Nana Isilfi Kondia, since GBC is on government subvention, there is the need to give them the 72%. He was quick to add that this should come with improvement on the part of the national broadcaster. Gives us the moral right. We achieve the moral height to say it is ours. It's our heritage. And therefore we have a right to it. So it takes out the government or takes out any other influences. The nation wants a first-class electronic media, not the kind of electronic media we have today. The member of the Media Commission was optimistic the collection of the fee will be monitored. It is that transparency that is worrying people. But I'm saying that with the, um, this new management, the set of checks and balances that are thought of and planned, with backing up this this launching and this came uh, brought up as a fresh, I think we can um, ease our minds of those old anxieties. On accessibility of collection points, the Director General Major Retard Albert Don Chebe said banks and mobile money systems will be used. He also noted that set-up boxes will compel viewers to make payments in order to access channels. He thinks the TV license fee will help GBC improve upon its operations. In the next 12-24 months, you should see GTV Volta. You should see GTV Ashanti. You should see GTV uh, North or GTV Upper West. That is the way we want to go. We want to empower our people. Our people, TV should be just across, uh, should be close to you. Well, let's speak to Selon Brandt here, who is a policy analyst with Ting Tang Kimani uh, Ghana. Selon, thank you for your time. Some would say there's a fine opportunity for the state broadcaster to assert itself and become a lot more independent. Well, um, I think that argument is a bit problematic because, uh, first of all, if, if GT, or, I mean, GBC wants its independence, it should begin to have a certain management philosophy that reflects that independence, which means that it should take a careful look at its management and its staff and its uh, resources and have prudent management policies that will make sure that it should be independent. And uh, that, will, that would mean that a lot of the people who are redundant and are working there should be laid off and then uh, they, they'll be able to run their, their company according to what their income is. Uh, the, 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 the concept about having a TV license for, to, for, for, the, for, the, for the company to be able to be sustainable is a wrong one because what it is doing is that this is a very clear example of how governmental or state institutions just fall back to the taxpayer for every inefficiency that they have in their own businesses. The taxpayer does not need to pay for a service like this because GTV, uh, I mean GBC in itself, has its own management and has it, it runs as a commercial entity. Therefore, it puts it in the wrong stead. If, for example, let's let's make an example with banks. For example, it's like saying that a bank that is owned by let's let's say the government, like Ghana Commercial Bank, should be um, people should there should, there should be a, a special tax taken to fund Ghana Commercial Bank so that it can compete against other banks. It is it's a very fallacious argument. If GBC wants to stand alone and be independent. It can be independent if it runs its management right and gives the right content out, which will then bring its uh, revenue in terms of advertising. They do not need to tax everybody who owns a TV money before they can achieve that, uh, what do you call it, objective. Secondly, the independence of GTV is 
uh, or GT, uh, GBC as a group is very questionable because they, as, as a, a state-owned uh, company, are under the directives of the executive, which means that that uh, independence can be abused at any time by any member of the executive who wants to use it to push a certain agenda. And the, the, the management and the workers under GBC are susceptible to any kind of pressure that comes from the government. Therefore, that independence will never be there, regardless of whether the TV license is paid or not. Mm, all right. Thank you very much, uh, Salon Bryant here as a policy analyst with uh, Think Tank uh, Imani Ghana. Thank you very much for your time.